Hello, I'm Jessica Costantino with AARP Massachusetts. Thank you for joining us today and participating in this Teletown Hall. With the election just a few weeks away, we want to make sure you know how to cast your ballot in this important election. And again, I want to stress the word how. We're not here to tell you who to vote for. We're here to make sure that you have the information you need to be able to cast your ballot. You can find out more information on the where, when, and how to vote by visiting our state election guide at aarp.org forward slash MA. As a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization, AARP is in your corner. We're fighting for issues that matter to you, including protecting your hard-earned Social Security and helping to achieve common sense solutions that help the base state's family caregivers save time and money and provide them with more support. We know that voters 50 plus decide elections and that there are a majority of voters in every election. In Massachusetts, 687,000 voters age 50 plus cast ballots in the 2020 election. The election is your opportunity to make sure your voice is heard. So again, we're here today to make sure you have all the information you need to be able to cast your ballot. Joining us now is one of the people responsoring for administer administering our state's elections, Elizabeth Turner Greendale. She's the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association, and we are so pleased to have her. Thank you so much for joining us, Elizabeth. If you are just joining us, this is an AARP telephone town hall where you're going to get the where, when, and how to vote. Our special guest, Elizabeth Turner Greendale, the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association is joining us. We're so fortunate to have her. And this is an interactive call. We want to hear from you. We want to know what your questions are. So if you have a question, please press star three on your telephone keypad. That's star three, that's all you have to do. You'll be connected with an AARP staff member. They'll take your name and your question and they'll put you right into the queue so that you can ask those questions live. So again, the sooner you press star three, the sooner you'll be online with our special guest. So let's get started. For 20, I'm sorry, for the 2024 voter engagement season for AARP, we want you to make sure that you know for more than 40 years, we have been working hard to provide information to our members and the public on the where, when, and how to vote, and the candidates' positions on our policy priorities. AARP does not endorse candidates or elected officials. AARP does not give money to PACs candidates or elected officials, and we don't tell you who to vote for. But what we do, we raise visibility on the issues that matter to people age 50 and over. We work across political lines. We inform candidates of the issues that matter most to the 50 plus population. We provide factual information on where, when, and how to vote. So before we begin, Elizabeth, I'd like, I would like a better picture of who we have joining us today. Could we ask our callers a quick question? This is for all of you listening in. Here is the question. In the upcoming election, very soon, do you intend to vote by mail? Do you, invoke, do you intend to vote early at an in-person location? Or are you planning to vote at a polling location on election day? So the best way to give us your insights is this. Press 1 on your telephone keypad if you plan to vote by mail. Press 2 if you think you're going to go and do an in-person early vote. And press 3 if you're going to go right on election day in person to your voting location and vote. Again, 1 for voting by mail, 2 for the early voting at an in-person location, and three for polling locations on election day. We're going to get those results back to you 
But now, without further ado, I am so pleased to ask Elizabeth Greendale to share a few words. Um, This is such a critical and busy time for your office, so thank you so much. Um, Take it away, Elizabeth. Jessica, thank you so much for having me on the call. It's my pleasure to be here, and um, I love answering questions to get some misconceptions out of the way. As you all know, there are three types of voting. You can um, early vote by mail, you can early vote in person, and you can come in person on Election Day. Um, There are, for the state election this year on November 5th, 2024, we have a deadline to register to vote of October 26th. So if you're not registered, you can do that online or you can do that in your local offices. Um, And if you are applying for a a vote-by-mail ballot, um, the deadline for that would be October 29th. So you have to get the, the, ballot, the application in for the vote by mail. Um, voting by, by mail, uh, most of you received a postcard, um, and some of you received it back in January of this year that would cover all year long. So um, if you did decide to do that, then you may have your ballot already or it may already be in the mail to you. Um, applications, once the applications are filled out, they can be returned postage paid, so you don't have to worry about that. And the signature is required, um, so we want to make sure that we have that because without the signature, we won't be able to process the application and send you the ballot. So um, the early voting in person, uh, you're... The state of Massachusetts has two weeks of early voting. Some communities, uh, depending on their size, may be open on the weekends, but some are open on Saturday only and some are open um, Sunday only or some are open on both. So in order to find that out, you can go to your local town's website, and most town clerks or city clerks have put all of the early voting hours um, on on their websites. And I'm also going to give you another website to check, but I'll give you that later. Um, <clears throat> during well, thank the- you, Elizabeth. It, we are covering a lot of ground, and we are going to get to more. But I just want to remind people who are listening, this is an interactive call. So if you have a question about voting in the Commonwealth, just press star 3 on your telephone keypad, and you'll be connected to an ARP staff member who will note your name and your question and put you in the queue. The sooner you press star three, the sooner you will be able to ask your question directly to Elizabeth. She's already shared some really important information. So let's get more questions in the queue. All right, Elizabeth, if you wouldn't mind continuing with um, highlighting some of the important dates that Massachusetts has. I know that you already told us that October 29th is the vote by mail application deadline. What else do we need to know as voters in Massachusetts? Okay, returning your ballots. That's an important, those are important dates to remember. Um, your ballots need to be at the, at the um, town clerk's office on election day, okay, if, unless they are mailed. If they're mailed and they are postmarked on election day, November 5th, but they have to be, we have to receive them by, oops, I'm sorry, I have it right here. Um, anyway, th- there is, there's a three-day wait after. Um, and all of this information, if you're interested in seeing it, um, rather than having to write it down while you're listening, you can also go to the AARP voter engagement page for Massachusetts. We have the where, when, and how to vote. That's aarp.org forward slash MA. And I know Elizabeth also has some websites that are really critical for us. Let's see who's in the queue. We've got people that are asking their questions, and um, we're going to go to you live soon. So if you have a question about where, when, how to vote, and what's happening in Massachusetts in particular, please press star three. You're on the AARP Massachusetts Teletown Hall on Voter Engagement. 
We want to make sure you know where, when, how to vote and to cast your vote because your voice matters. Back to you, Elizabeth. Okay, so the date that the uh, ballot needs to be returned to the town clerk's office if it's postmarked by November 5th is November 8th at 5 p.m. I wouldn't recommend that because the post office may or may not get it to us within three days, and then it won't count. So the earlier you get your ballot, the faster you should turn it around, and you can drop it off in, in a drop box outside of town hall. A couple of misconceptions that I wanted to go over with you is um, – are the ballots counted? Yes, every mail-in ballot is counted. There's a misconception out there that it's only if it's, there's a recount that those are counted. Every single ballot that we receive back to the town clerk's office is counted. Um, and <clears throat> um, another one is, is, can ballots be dropped off at any town hall? No, they cannot. They can only be dropped off at your town hall or city hall. Um, so if you're, you need to drop it in the mail if you're not going to be able to drop it off yourself in person. And most towns have a drop box that they can do that with. Um, let's Thank see. you, Elizabeth. Don't... So if you are just joining, this is an AARP teletown hall on voting in the 2024 upcoming election just a couple of weeks away. We are here to make sure that you know the where, when, and how to vote. And we have a special guest, Elizabeth Greendale, who is the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association. Very busy right now in, in town and city halls with getting ready for election season because there's a few ways for people to vote this year, aren't there, Elizabeth? Can you yeah, talk sure. about the three ways that people can vote in this election cycle? In this election cycle, people can vote by mail. They can vote early in person for two weeks leading up to the election. So that would be from October 19th to November 1st. Your local town hall um, has early voting in person, and you can check their website to see where their locations are and what their times are. Um, that does include weekends. And the other way to vote is just to come in and vote in person on election day. Um, oh, the old school way of actually the going to school. the polling location. <laughs> great. Yes. Well, thank you. That's really helpful. It's great to have options and for people to know what they are. We've got some questions in the queue, and I'd like to get started hearing from folks. But I want to remind people, if you have a question, please press star three on your keypad so that we can take you live. Um, we'll get to you just as soon as we can. So the first person we have up is Albert. Um, Let's see, Albert. Um, hi, Albert. Can you hear me? I can, loud and clear. Great. What's your question, Albert? Well, um, yeah, I, I already have my ballot here. I did ask, you know, ahead of time to have the ballot sent mail in, but I haven't uh, filled it out yet. Although I'm, you know, pretty much sure <laughs> what I'm going to go, but. Uh, but the question I specifically had is for one of the offices, not the president, I certainly I know <laughs> where that's going and Senate and all, but uh, one of the other ones, I was considering a possible write-in vote for, for someone. And um, then it, it occurred to me looking at the ballot that for uh, some of the, the candidates, they had uh, – that are pre-printed. They already have their name plus a street address. So my question would be, do, if I were to do a write-in, like now or sometime in the future, in addition to that person's name, do I need to have a street address to go with that uh, person? What an excellent that and thoughtful question, yes. Albert. Yes, I'm it is. I'm going to turn this to Elizabeth because I think she has the the real story on what the answer is here. Elizabeth? Yes, Albert. The answer is no. You do not have to have that um, because it is the intent of the voter. So if it's a well-known person, um, they will know who it is. Okay. Yeah, this, this would be a fairly well-known person, but not that I – realistically expected to, <laughs> to make a difference, but just to <laughs> speak up. Okay, so that, that that helps. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you so much, Albert. 
just want to say thank you again to our special guest on this AARP Teletown Hall about voting in 2024, Elizabeth Greendale. She is the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association. Very busy at the moment with the many ways people can cast their ballots. And so um, we asked you earlier in the call, if you have a question, please press star three on your keypad to get in the queue so you can ask that live. But we did also ask, how do you plan to vote in the upcoming election? And the three options, as Elizabeth has uh, let us know, are one, you can vote by mail. Two, you can early vote at an in-person location, and she's going to provide some more information about that specifically. And then three, you can vote in person on election day, as I just said, kind of old school, you know, go to the polling booth. So on your keypad, press one if you're going to go vote by mail, two if you're going to go with voting in person but early, and press three if you're going to go on election day to a polling location. We're going to get to uh, the poll results, but I want to get to the next question from our caller. So um, let's see here. We've got um, Claire from Rainham. Claire, what's your question? I already asked it, but I'll repeat it. I just wanted to know is on the right in ballot, mail in ballot, on the bottom of it, after you voted, it says Democrat or Republican. And I asked her, if I vote Democrat, does that mean all the way through, or do I get another ballot saying who's running? What an excellent question. Elizabeth, can you help us understand this piece of voting? I sure can. Claire, um, if it's for this specific election, um, that is irrelevant. So you do not need to check off Democrat or Republican. That's only for a primary election, which we just had back in September. Okay. So will they be sending me another ballot? No, no, no. You have you have you have a ballot now? No, I do not. I did sent you it request in. you requested an a, a, you requested one? Yes, I did. And you you mailed it back. No. No, that was for the primary you said. So I don't have one for this election. No, I don't. Okay. The envelope may say Democrat and Republican on it, but uh-huh. if it's for this presidential election November 5th, you do not need to fill that part out. Okay. But are they going to send me another ballot? Um, I'm going to give you some information on how to find out if you have um, if you have requested a ballot and you haven't received it yet. Um, this is an, well, an important website. I just requested it today. Uh, well, I wouldn't know. You'd have to call your town, town hall oh, I see. Okay, to find I out. Okay, yeah. yeah, or you can do it online. Um, if you have... Uh, um, Internet capabilities, the best website to use is, I'm going to give this to you a couple times, www.sec.state.ma.us forward slash elections, E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N-S. I'm going to repeat Um, that. Can I go to my town hall and ask for a ballot? You can. Okay, that's what I think I'm going to do. Yep. Okay, thank you very much. You've been very informative, and I really enjoyed listening to everybody. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Claire. And thank you, Elizabeth, for clearing that up. So just to make sure that I got this right, if you've asked for a ballot uh, because you'd like to vote by mail and it hasn't come yet, where do people go? I know that you can... Am I correct in understanding that you can go to your local election official in your city or town hall? Is that an option? That is an option. Great. Um, I'd like to give that website one more time. I would love it if you would. Everybody get your pens out. We're going to give a website, and it's it's a long one. www.sec dot s t a t e dot m a dot u s forward slash elections. 
Okay. And when you go there, there is there's four options. You can register to vote online. You can check the upcoming elections. You can apply for a vote by mail. And you can also, the one that I love is track my ballot. That's very informative because you can put your information in and find out when your ballot, when your application was received, when your ballot was mailed, and when it was returned. So you can have peace of mind knowing that your ballot has been returned to the town clerk's office and it is going to be counted. Oh, what a great, great feature, knowing that you can track your ballot. Again, that's at the Massachusetts Secretary of State's website on the election page, and you can get all of that tracking information there. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I just want to remind people, if you're just joining us, this is an AARP Teletown Hall on voting in 2024. The election is coming right up, and we want to make certain that you know where, when, and how to vote. We're not here to tell you who to vote for. We just want to make sure that you have the information you need to make that, uh, that decision. So if you are interested in learning more about an election guide from AARP, you can get that information at aarp.org forward slash MA. If you have a question that you'd like to ask live, please press star three on your telephone keypad and you'll be put into the queue. First, our staff people will screen you and then get you right in there. We asked earlier if you were going to vote one of three ways, by mail, if you were going to vote early at the location in your community in person, or if you were planning on going to the polling location on election day, as you may have in the past. And we have some election voting plan uh, results here from our participants. So, oh my gosh, 52%. 52% of callers on this Teletown Hall intend to vote by mail. 15% are going to use the early voting in-person option. And 33% intend to go out on Election Day. No matter what the weather, they're going to get out there and they're going to vote. So um, I have a couple more questions, but I'm wondering if I could ask you, Elizabeth, just to go over a couple of the key dates again to make sure people know what they need to be looking on their calendar so that they don't miss any important things. Okay. Um, important dates are your vote by mail application deadline is October 26th. So if you haven't gotten your application in, you need to get it into the town clerk's office by then so they can mail you the ballot. Okay. Great. And I'm sorry. October 26th is the deadline to register to vote. I'm, I apologize. October 26th is the, is the deadline to register to vote. October 29th is the deadline for an application to vote by mail. Okay. So those are coming right, right up. You've got about uh, our, our listeners and participants have a couple of weeks to get that done. And we all suggest that you, when you get your ballot, you vote it and you return it immediately to make sure that it gets to the town clerk's office in time. Great. Thank you, Elizabeth. An excellent reminder. I have a question here in the, in the queue that I'm just going to read. Are there any other races on the ballot other than the presidential races this time? Could you talk about that, Elizabeth? Yes, there are. There, um, there's a race for senator in Congress, your representative in Congress, the counselor, your senator in general court, your representative in general court, your clerk of courts, register of deeds, and other communities may have a couple of other miscellaneous um, um, representatives that are being elected. So cities, for instance, might have something a little different than what a town would have. Um, and there are also five very important questions on the ballot. And it is a two-sided ballot, so remember that. Um, 
that you know when you when you vote on the front page there is another there's a there's turn it over and there's more questions on the back so oh, that's a good reminder my goodness you wouldn't want to skip out on those important questions and so elizabeth you mentioned that there's representatives in congress and also representatives in the general court can you just give um give listeners what the difference is there so Congress is in Washington, and General Court is in Massachusetts. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, what about, here's another question that just came in. What about if I want to cast my ballot in person, um, how, how would I find out where I do that, if, you know, no matter where I live in the Commonwealth? So on that same website that I gave you, on the Secretary of State's website, you can find out your your voter status and where to vote. So all that information is on there. Okay. And you can look at your your sample ballot. So you can see your ballot prior to uh voting. Prior what about if my internet is on the fritz? What do I do then? Um then you can call your your town clerk. Okay. And they can help you Great. answer any questions. Super. So that's our local folks who are there to help make sure that we're getting getting the most information and accurate information on where, when, how to vote. Our our local town officials on elections, the clerks. Yes. Great. And the red books Thanks. have all been mailed. Also, if you're familiar with those, those have um, you can read extensively on the questions and make your decision from those. If you have not received your red book in the mail. Um, they will have some available at the polling locations and at the early voting sites. And Elizabeth, who, where does the Red Book come from, in, in case listeners are not uh, familiar with this? It comes from the Secretary of State's office. Okay. And in the Red Book, um, can you say what what's provided, that information in that Red Book for folks? It, it, you can read up on all the questions. Um, so it, it, it gives the in-depth and it also gives a pro and a con on each question and what a yes answer means and what a no answer means because sometimes people feel that it's backwards. If you say yes on a question, they are really voting no. Um, so it, it gives you an explanation of what a yes answer says or does and what a no answer does. Very helpful. Thank you for that clarification. Everybody be looking in your mail if you uh, for your red book uh, coming from the Secretary of the Commonwealth on how to vote on the ballot questions that are going to be on this year's Massachusetts um, elections. So uh, a reminder to people, you are on an AARP Teletown Hall on voting in 2024. We want to make sure that you have information on where, when, and how to vote. We're not telling you who to vote for, but uh, we are so, so pleased to have Elizabeth Greendale, who is the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association, the people responsible for making sure that all of our elections uh, happen, and they are the people in your local community making that happen. I'm sure many of you know them. We had asked a poll question earlier in this uh, call that asked how people plan to vote. And so we'd also like to hear your questions directly. If you have questions and would like to get on the call and say them aloud, please press star three on your telephone keypad to ask a question, our staff will take your name and get you into the queue. We have some questions that have come in online that I can read, but boy, it would be nice to hear your questions. So many of you said that you intend to vote by mail, which is one way that you can vote in the 2024 election coming right up in a couple of weeks. In fact, 52% of you think that you're going to use the vote by mail option. 15% thought you were going to do an early voting in person. So that's where you're going to go to your town or city clerk's office and vote in person. And then uh, 
33% have decided they are going to go to the poll on election day and vote. Now, Elizabeth, we haven't talked about this. This is uh, the way that people used to vote all the time. But how do I find out or how would someone find out where is my polling location? Has it moved since the last time I voted? Do I need to bring anything with me? What are the specifics on voting in person this year at the polls on November 5th? Okay. In Massachusetts, identification is not required to vote unless there are extenuating circumstances, such as you are on you didn't answer your annual town census and you are on the what we call inactive list. Um, then you need to show an ID proving that you still live at that residence. But other than that, ID is not required. In order to find out where you vote, because um, there's towns have many po multiple polling locations and you need the address of where you're supposed to vote, you can check your um, your voter registration status on that same website I gave you with the Secretary of the Commonwealth, um, and it, which is www.sec.state.ma.us forward slash elections. And all that information is there. And if you don't have Internet access, then by all means, certainly call your town hall and find out where you vote. Great. That's really helpful. I know that Sometimes polling location changes. The time for voting on November 5th on Election Day doesn't change by community um, in Massachusetts. Can you tell folks what the times for voting are? The voting begins at 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Oh, that's a long time. Great. Thank you. So lots of opportunity if you want to go in person on November 5th. Oh, I have another question here that's just come in online. Can I bring my mail ballot to the polling location on November 5th, the election day? Elizabeth, what's, what's the story with that? That is an excellent question. No, you cannot. You need to bring your ballot to the town hall and drop it off there. Somebody will, somebody okay. will be there. There'll be a drop box. It has to go to town hall. It cannot be dropped off at the polling location. Okay, good reminder. If you got a mail-in ballot and you're holding it on election day, you must go to town hall to turn it back in. You can't bring it to that polling location. Really helpful. Oh, I wanna make sure we're continuing moving through the calls and questions we have here. I'm gonna now go live to Vinette, I believe. Vinette, are you with us? And do you yes. have a question for us? Please. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm here. Actually, it's um, it's two parts to a question. Um, yeah, my first question is: is Was there anyone there to explain the questions? How? What does a yes vote or a no vote um means to the questions? Elizabeth, okay, so, would you like to take that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that that would be um, on the ballot. There is a brief explanation. It says a yes vote would allow, you know, would allow this, and a no vote would do this. So, it is on the on the ballot itself. However, like I said, the red book from the Secretary of State's office mm -hmm. is um, very helpful. And if you did not get one in the mail or you you misplaced it, you can certainly get one at town hall. The fact is that we um, we already received, my household will be voting by mail, and we have already received the, the ballots, but um, we did not receive the red book. So is that available automatically? Will they be sending the, the, um, the red book? As well, mailing the red book to us, or do we yes. access it elsewhere? That you've, you've, they've mailed it. They're mailing the red book to every voter residence in town. Hmm. Um, so um, let me look at them. Looking. We haven't received that. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking if you haven't on the received website. the red, the red book, the mm -hmm. Massachusetts Secretary of State's office 
is responsible for mailing that out. And so um, the address that Elizabeth provided, I believe also you can get that. It's the SEC, which stands for Secretary. Um, you SEC, can also yes. Go... Oh, I'm sorry. Elizabeth, SEC dot, dot S T A T E. No, no. Okay. S E C dot state dot M A dot U S forward slash elections. Forward slash elections. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. So it is on there. It's under recent mm-hmm. updates. It says the twenty twenty four information for voters book. And that has okay. all of the information you need. Okay. In several languages for the questions. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, thank you, Elizabeth, and thank you, Vinette. The one other place, if if for some reason your online isn't working as well as you'd like it to, you can contact the Massachusetts Secretary of the Commonwealth. It's a toll-free number. It's 1-800-392-6090. Again, the Secretary of the Commonwealth is responsible for the elections in Massachusetts. And so they have a wealth of information in that office. They have a toll-free number, 1-800-392-6090. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 8.45 to 5 p.m., So there are other ways that you can get information, and we want to make sure that you have all of that information so you can know where, when, and how to vote. I have another question in the queue here that I'd like to ask that came in online, uh, but I just want to remind callers, if you're just joining us, this is an AARP Teletown Hall on voting in 2024. We're not here to tell you who to vote for. We just want to make sure that you have the where, the when, and the how to vote in this upcoming election just a couple of weeks away. We are so thrilled that we have our special guest, Elizabeth Greendale. She is the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association. These folks are the ones on the ground making sure that all of the elections happen here, right in the Commonwealth. And so I just want to get to the next question I have here. Oh, how can I register or change my registration? Elizabeth, what about that question? That's also, you can do that from the website I gave you. Um, You can register to vote right on there, or you can check your your registration status, and you can also change your party. Okay. So one way you can get information about all of this is through AARP's website on voting. And it's very easy to remember. This one is easy. AARP.org forward slash MA for Massachusetts. So AARP.org slash MA. And we have the where, when, and how to vote right here in the Commonwealth. So, um, so many questions coming in. I want to make sure that I I get to the next one here. Um, So one one person would like to know is, what are the actual steps if you choose to vote by mail? Can, Can you help walk us through that, Elizabeth? Certainly. So... <clears throat> vote by mail requires an application so because we need to get the information brought into our offices in order to send out the ballot and we verify your your voter status so you apply you can apply via the postcard that the secretary of state's commonwealth sent you you can request um an application or you can come in and get an application uh, <clears throat> You can check your your town's own website to see how to apply. Does they have information on there? So once we get the application in, um, we process it in our offices and we get the ballot mailed out as soon as we can. And that envelope, that that mail, has instructions. It has the ballot. It has an inner envelope that you would need to sign, 
and it also has an outer envelope that you would return to us, and it all is all postage paid, so you don't need to worry about that, and it is already addressed to your town hall. So there's, there's, all you have to do is vote on the ballot, put it in the envelope, sign the envelope, put that envelope in the return envelope to us, and that's it. And as I said, we recommend you turn it around pretty quickly. As soon as you get that ballot, sit down, make your decisions, and return it. Thank don't you, Elizabeth. Wait. That's really helpful to know. Yes, the don't don't wait. Let's get going, everybody. Once you get it, now if someone gets that mail-in ballot and they'd like to return it, what are the options for them? That can you please share? how people can actually do that in Massachusetts, because we do have some good options. We do. Yes, if you don't want to drop it in the mail, you can drop it off at town hall. We have uh, most town halls have a drop box that is designated for ballots and is locked and secured. Most have cameras on them, so they are very secure. Um, You can drop it in there, or you can bring it right to the town hall if you prefer. And in town hall, that's when you would go to your clerk's office for, to return this. Am I correct? Correct. Excellent. I've learned something as well today. This is so helpful. A uh, special thank you to Elizabeth Greendale. She's the president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association. She's here today helping us understand the where, when, and how to vote in Massachusetts. Uh, the election's coming right up. We want to make sure that you have that information. If you are just joining, this is an ARP Teletown Hall on voting in 2024. Please press star three to join the call and ask your question live, or we can keep taking calls. A lot of people have decided to go with asking their questions uh, online. Maybe it's a sign of the times. Elizabeth, one of the things you just mentioned is about the security that is in place for people to have a sense of security around that when they return their vote by mail ballot to the drop box that it's locked and there may in fact even be a camera on it. Can you give us some other insights of things that the Commonwealth is doing to make sure that we ensure the the integrity and the security of this election? Yes, I can without sharing too many secrets. Uh, <laughs> we, um, every everything is done with checks and balances in, in our offices. Um, all ballots that go out are confirmed voters, and they're all um, uh, reconciled as to how many are supposed to be there for, and, and match that up with how many are actually going out. We do the exact same thing when they come back. Um, we record through their their voting record in our in our state system that the ballot is returned we then count how many we have checked in and and verify that with how many physical ballots we have returned all those ballots go into a vault at night and are locked up um and are and are taken there's there's several options um within your community how they can process those mail in ballots they can either wait to do it at the polls on election day they can um, remove them from the, the uh, envelopes ahead of time, or they can actually put them through a tabulator ahead of time. And if they, when they do that, nothing, none of those results are recorded or, or pulled off of the tabulator until the close of polls at 8 p.m. on Election Day. So regardless of how it's done, no one has any information on the outcome until 8 o'clock on election day. That's that really question? that's really good to know. Thank you for sharing that. Elizabeth, one of the things you mentioned is that if people are interested in tracking their ballot, there is an option in Massachusetts if you've received an in-person, I'm sorry, if you've received a vote by mail ballot, can you please uh, give some insights what that actually means. What What's going to happen? What do I look for when it says track my ballot? What's going to be covered? And most importantly, how do I do this? So how do you do it? So you go to the, the uh, Secretary of the Commonwealth's website, um, 
which you, you have a direct link from your AARP website, I assume? We do. We do. We okay, make perfect. Sure that so people... that's an easier one to remember. Um, and then you see one of the boxes that says track my ballot. You enter your information, and then it, it shows you when your application was received and also when your ballot was mailed and, more importantly, when your ballot was returned. So that's why I said that we have to, you know, our record keeping um, is spot on. We have to record everything as it goes out and as it comes in. And then you, the voter, have the ability to see when that happens. Great. That is really good to know. So we are getting very close now to the end of this call. My gosh, this has gone very quickly. I hope that people have found this information useful. I know that I have learned so much, and this is so very useful. I'd like to ask you, Elizabeth, if you could just remind people of the very important dates that are coming up because it's only a couple of weeks before the election day happens and the dates we need to be aware of. One more time on the dates, please. Okay. Deadline to register to vote is October 26th. Deadline to get your vote by mail application in is October 29th. The early okay. voting starts this Saturday, October 19th, and runs through until November 1st, and that's early voting in person. And that is when you would do it at your town or city hall. You go right there, and you, you would be able to, to vote right then, early, in person. Am I correct? Yes, you are. Correct. Excellent. And then there's the November 5th. We don't want to forget that most important date as well. Tuesday, November 5th is coming right up. What times can people head to the polls on Tuesday, November 5th? If they're one of our 33% of uh, participants on this call who think they're going to do it in person, what should we know then, Elizabeth? Polls are open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Okay, that's, that's a good amount of time. I just want to say for everybody who's participated in this call, we thank you for listening. We thank you for your questions. They kept coming in. It was uh, so many important things that were covered. And we thank you for joining us in this discussion about the 2024 election. Elizabeth, we thank you so much for everything you've shared. This is critical information. Elizabeth Turner Greendale, president of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association, we appreciate you and all your time, especially at this super busy time. Do you have anything you'd like to share, any final comments before we close this up? Uh, yes, another comment that I wanted to, to make is that if you have applied for a vote by mail ballot and you still have your ballot at home, but then for some reason you want to go in and vote um, in person on Election Day, you can do that. So as long as you don't return it. If a ballot has been returned, then you cannot vote again, obviously. But if you still have your ballot at home and you decide to go on Election Day, you can do that. Um, okay. And I want to thank you, Jessica, for having me. Um, this is, is very informative, and, and the more information that we get out to voters, um, the smoother it all runs for all of us. And we appreciate what you do in getting the information out as well. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to work together on this. But you're not off the hook because another question came right in. I'm going to read it <laughs> to you. We're going to slide it in right before we have to end here because it's a really important one. What if I show up to vote on election day at my polls and I'm not registered? Oh. Um, well, they would have to do some research. Um, and there is an ability to, provo to vote provisionally, um, okay. meaning that you, know, we, we, you can vote and we will do the research after the election to see if, if, if it counts. But what most, most cities and towns do is they try and verify exactly where you are registered to vote. Um, and you, they give you the option to go to your previous place of registration um, to vote, or you can Wait. vote provisionally. 
Okay. So there are some options. But everybody listening out there, Elizabeth, tell them the date again. My gosh, just get registered to vote, everybody. What date do we need to do that by? You you need to do that by October 26th is the deadline to register to vote. That's a Saturday. Um, Okay. So so make sure you do and check your voter registration and your status online. Coming right up, coming right up, folks. Don't forget to do this. Uh, We know that voters 50 and over uh, vote. They take this seriously, and they do it more than other age groups in uh, in the Commonwealth, certainly. Um, We want to thank you again, Elizabeth, for joining us. If you are just uh, jumping on this call, which maybe you are, you've been listening to a Teletown Hall with Elizabeth Turner Greendale, President of the Massachusetts Town Clerks Association. She's our special guest on this AARP Teletown Hall, focusing on the 2024 elections. Make sure that you know where, when, and how to vote. This is such critical information. Again, the Massachusetts Secretary of State's office has a toll-free number, 1-800-462-VOTE. So that's 1-800-864-8683. If you have questions about how to cast your ballot in person, by mail, the Secretary of the Commonwealth also has a great election website, Elizabeth has so kindly shared that through, but I'm going to give it one more time, one more time, www.sec.state.ma.us forward slash divisions forward slash elections. My gosh, that's a lot. But now I'm going to give you an easier one just in case you want this one too. ARP has lots of valuable information on the upcoming election. That's aarp.org forward slash MA. So that's aarp.org slash MA. And we hope that this call was helpful to everyone. We so appreciate your time and participation. Thank you again, Elizabeth. Thank you, everybody, for participating. This concludes our call today. Thank you. You're welcome. It was my pleasure.